coming soon to theaters is Peter Pan and Wendy. This movie is starring the based Jude Law, Alexander Mamoni, Ever Anderson, Yara Shahidi, Alyssa Wapanatuck, uh, Joshua Pickering, Jacob E. Jupe, Molly Parker, Alan Tudyk, and Jim fucking Gaffigan for some reason. This is going to be directed by David Lowry and is, of course, a Walt Disney Pictures in, uh, you know, in bed with Whitaker Entertainment and Roth slash Kirschenbaum Films. This movie is set to release on April 28th of 2023, and it is going to be distributed onto Disney+. Plus. And the premise is as follows. Wendy Darling, a young girl afraid to leave her childhood home behind, meets Peter Pan, a boy who refuses to grow up. Alongside her brothers, Michael and John, and a tiny fairy, Tinkerbell, uh, Tinkerbell, she travels with Peter to the magical world of Neverland. There, Wendy encounters an evil pirate, Captain, Captain Hook, and embarks on a thrilling and dangerous adventure that will change her life forever. Now, one thing that I've never understood is if you already don't want to leave your home and don't want to grow up who wants to deal with a fucking deadly pirate chasing you all the time it doesn't seem like a very good trade-off for being yelled at for not cleaning your room it definitely isn't a good trade-off for paying bills i would much rather pay my heating and electric than be chased by a damn pirate all the time but i digress now i usually like to go a little bit into the director here so david lowry who is he and what has he done well the only thing that i actually really recognize here for him is pete's dragon this is also a disney film uh, by the way he has done a couple other things a ghost story uh the old man and the gun and and, oh, he directed the fantasy epic, The Green Knight. Now, The Green Knight, I've heard very mixed reviews on. I've heard from some people that The Green Knight is fantastic, and I've heard from others that it's just terrible. I will have to watch it someday in order to make that decision for myself. However, like I said, the thing that I am familiar with from him is Pete's Dragon, which was a really lovely, adorable uh, Disney film in 2016 about a young boy who finds a dragon uh, out on his kind of journey, and then he hides the dragon or attempts to hide the dragon from the people around so that way they don't try to harm him. And so seeing him return in order to direct this Peter Pan film is definitely, in my opinion, a good choice by Disney. And this film has been in the works for a long time. It was discussed in April 2016 that they wanted to do a live action adaptation of Peter Pan. However, of course, nobody really knew how that would go because there is a lot of weird shit in Peter Pan. For example, there's a lot of weird racial shit in the original Peter the Pan, which apparently they did remove in order to make it accessible by all audiences and remove various stigmas from it. Uh, it looks like the script was in production for at least a couple to a few years, and honestly, that gives me a little bit more hope as well. Taking your time on getting a really good and solid script down so you can get a really solid piece of work is also is always one of the most important things, and I think that that's a good sign that they wanted to put a good amount of time into that. Also, Jude Law as Hook is just a fucking perfect casting love to see it jude law doesn't get enough work these days he's a fantastic actor and i'm just excited to see what he is gonna do and he's actually the reason that i knew about this film in the first place i heard a while back that he was going to be portraying uh hook in this upcoming peter the pan uh, uh movie and so i'm definitely excited to see that and see how it plays out hoping that it's as good as it is uh, it is in my brain you know but that's really all we have about the peter the pan film right now the live action adaptation so let me know what you guys think do you guys think this is going to be a terrible uh, uh, you know edition of it do you think it's going to be a pretty solid edition from the things that you've heard so far do you know any details that i missed uh, and on top of that if there's any other things that you'd like us to talk about that are coming out soon or review definitely let us know in the comments down below uh you can also like and subscribe for more content like this in the future you can uh, we try to keep you guys up to date on the new movies that are going to be releasing and when they're going to be releasing also real quick if if you are a fan of video games, we have a channel called Game and Sessions where we do a similar style of content and we basically keep you guys in the loop of all of the upcoming video game releases as well as we review recently released video games uh, and we do various playthroughs of stuff as well. So go give us a like and subscribe over there. And besides that, without further ado, I will see you all in the next smoking session. Right back.
Just to open up a newer car